fuck off, crosshair. Get away from the gumboat, what the hell? Welcome everyone back to Discovery Freelancer and today for another episode The Coalition and uh, I know it has been really long had a huge gap where, since I last did a freelancer video uh, but those who are in my discord channel uh, know why I had trouble and uh, some real life issues uh, that I couldn't do videos etc uh, but I tried to stream now and then impossible so what changed any updates on freelancer uh, pretty much pretty much a lot has changed so as you can see uh, this is a Corvo a coalition Corvo many of us name it uh, a frigate because gumbo is tourists Oh, yeah, I changed some musics, background musics. Anyhow, you might wonder why am I tagged SCC? Me and a couple of vets uh, have left SCRA and uh, revived our old faction called the Serious Coalition for Missouri. Now, the faction was disbanded because, well, not really disbanded, but uh, because we merged with SCRA back then, because SCRA was disbanding, etc. Uh, so we agreed with um, Tabris to merge and kind of save the SCRA faction, etc. But now there's not really much need of us, so I think, you know, we could start this back up together with VI, Volgograd Industrial, the coalition trading faction. So we are kind of like a coalition intelligence faction. And uh, back then we used the tag, after, after we merged, we used the tag for Cadet, a cadet program, which we recruited people first on the SCC and then to SCRA if they proved themselves worthy. And hold on, music is really loud. Right there. So we're back with the Commissariat, College Intelligence, and uh, we're mostly active in the Kuzara systems, uh, Tau, uh, Omicrons. Those are literally our like main places. We go lately, especially with the Order and the Blood Dragons, our allies. But uh, we also do a homeland defense, of course, with SCRA, etc. Uh, on Omega 52, aka New Moscow. Okay, so I found this one guy called uh, tagged with the um, Legacy of Aurelian, I think. It's a new uh, Order faction, which I really look forward to them becoming official. And. Uh, we're doing some roleplay with the uh, current order factions. As a coalition broke the, um, there was a kind of like a cold war between order and coalition back then, and uh, we when we merged with SDRA, we made a peace treaty, and since then our allies again. So they they can uh, move to our space, we can move around their space, etc. Okay, I thought he he'll. Um, Log off, but apparently he's just lying there. And I'm probably gonna move along. So, the coalition intelligence faction. What was there was like a high command made out of a you know political commissar, which is my character right now, and a military commissar, a people's commissar. Then there is the mid rank commissars. Then you have the low ranks. Guardians and conscripts. All the commissar is literally just the bones and thing of the commissariat. Uh, well, more like you know the one who makes diplomacies and positions, uh, where to attack, etc., where to move, all of that. Uh, a military commissar is more focused on the cadet program, which are the conscripts. And uh, the People's Commissar is more like an oversight of the uh, so-called 
police uh, security like coalition, you know, commissars or, you know, conscripts, etc. So they are most likely around the, the coalition bases, etc. Omega 55, Stuttgart, Omega 52, uh, Newcastle, all those uh, coalition bases, looking more of their security, etc. Wow, okay, this music is intense. I kind of like this one, the danger. It sounds really close to a freelancer music. Or close, let's say close. So, uh, we I ain't scraw anymore. We I is its own thing again. I mean, at the beginning it was its own thing. We are aiming to kind of expand the coalition or more like coalition unlawful uh, trading, you know, um, with our allies, you know, Mollies, Red Hessians. We already have like Uncuts, Uncut Diamonds, uh, Gold Ore, and with the Blood Dragons, GMGs, IMGs, etc. Uh, we have more access to different ores, you know, but of course, a coalition doesn't have a mining bonus or something, but that would be also. A, uh, a goal, of course. The Commissariat is probably gonna stay uh, in the for a long while. Because uh, that's not where our focus is right now. We focus on we eye anything. But, uh, you know, just for uh, military assets, etc. Uh, we fly a SCC with a couple vets, like I said. Uh, JD is there, Lambda, Madeline, Joey, etc. Clavius. Vorolinski, etc. Which, by the way, we are recruiting right now, if you want to join. <laughs> so, another thing is, uh, we have a, or more like, I have a race event, racing event going. Uh, if you guys want to participate, it's it's very much like the um, AF, AF, AFC, was it? Archangel Fight Club, I think. Um, they used to host races back then, etc. Uh, but they stopped existing, so um, I saw there was a huge gap between that. And so I'm kind of restarting it, not with the AFC. I'm trying to do it um, as vanilla as possible, because vanilla had those uh, race missions. Uh, well, like more one, more like one race mission uh, in Dublin. So kind of trying to use that concept and expand it on the universe, Discovery Universe. Because that's what makes Discovery so interesting. Uh, especially stuff like Coalition and such. Uh, they all started with info cards, rumors, like, you know, Hispania saboteurs, Hispania sleepship saboteurs. And then they made their group and uh, called themselves Coalition Remnants, slowly becoming the Serious Coalition Revolutionary Army. Uh, stuff like that, or the AI. They, they were uh, Easter egg on an unknown system, robots, but they existed in a way. So they used that concept and made a faction out of it. So I think I'm probably gonna use the racing concept, uh, the gates, race gates in Dublin, etc., the mission, and expand on that. Because that's what I what I like on Discovery a lot when they expand on vanilla stuff. Okay, so there is not much we, can, we do here right now. I'm just escorting this guy. Probably... I'm, I'm gonna ask him if he's bring this stuff to a POV. Oh, Coronado. Holy shit, that's, that's a long route. But I think I can escort him till there. While I'm escorting him, I can... Talk some more. So what else has changed? Um... Well, we have, with the Commissariat, we have kind of um, established strong, or more like strengthened our ties with these allies, like, you know, Order, Blood Dragons, that we are, we, we are uh, active in Kusari and in Omicrons a lot, so uh, helping them out, you know, against the uh, common forces. So uh, while SCRA and the others are focusing more of in Omega, Rhineland, Bretonia, which we also assist, of course, uh, we focus on outside of that bound, uh, like a real coalition intelligence faction. Other than that, 
I have started a wreckage event. Many of you know, many of those who watch my streams. Uh, I think we have already given away seven or eight wreckages. Uh, it's more like, if I haven't already explained, uh, it's a wreckage event where you can claim wreckages. When you, you have to roleplay with it, it'll, it'll stay still, etc. You can fly with your ship and examine, etc. It, it'll have no power, you have to start a power. You know, that's the, where the imagination comes in uh, with roleplay. Uh, you have to roleplay how your ship either has a module or something which could potentially power it up. Or you have to uh, manually move your troops in uh, into the wreckage in order to start the ship and you can claim it and by rp process if you get ambushed and you have already marines inside uh which i'm probably gonna make a new rule like you have to get commodity the uh, marines commodity or something at least like you know uh to show that your thing that your uh whatever your group group is is inside your team is inside the ship um, so when you get on ambushed etc and your ship manages to start the ship uh, I, I or any other that plays the wreck will automatically be like allied with you because you have your own men in so it won't be like that the others can claim the ship it, the ship is kind of yours if it survives of course but if you don't have any men in it and you get ambushed, uh, that means another player can actually claim it. And as for cruises and stuff, uh, we, we have set the bar really high. Like, in a, as in, from snub to capital ships, you can encounter anything. You can encounter literally anything and you can claim anything. But the rule is from snub to up to transport you can do it alone but uh once capital ships or liners are involved you have to get a body at least a second body and if it's like a dreadnought or something of course a third one uh would make the process faster i'm not saying i, I won't allow you to role play with two people but just saying you will have a lot more time wasted to get that dreadnought uh, to claim that dreadnought instead of uh, getting a third person you know also uh, a wreckage can be salvaged destroyed and claimed so claim means you have it you brought it back to a base safely I'll give you the move car cord and the um, the ship is yours salvage means you saw a potential cargo in it etc guns and you only want that, you only want those things, you don't want the ship, you just want that. You either, uh, you, of course, drop the cargo from the ship, or you go bring it to a base and salvage it, and that's it. The, the, I'm gonna move the ship back to, the, to its original place, and the ship will still be claimable by someone else, but it won't have the loot in it, you know. And destroyed as the wreckage is literally destroyed, there won't be, the wreckage won't be anymore. It'll, it'll be uh, quote-unquote removed but it's more like a rename like the character doesn't exist anymore so yeah because of course you gotta save money man i think i'm gonna make this episode a general freelancer episode yeah no. there's not much coalition going on right now so in this video i'm mostly just talking let's see what else changed oh yeah pg pirate skill uh I've, well, I won't say I, I've taken over leadership. It's more like we're, I'm part of the leadership now with Wu Wei and uh, Noel. Um, we have boosted that faction back up. Uh, we're doing stuff in Omega, Kusari, all over the place. Uh, I've looked that we have ships everywhere and that we actually do more pirating as people want to see that. They like it, apparently. Uh, there wasn't a lot of pirates lately, I heard, so uh, I'm trying to boost that one up. Next to that, well, um, the core, uh, I got a little bit inactive in core, but I'm still joining if there is something to shoot, of course. 
uh, like if course uh, let's log and you know go do something oh, that's something else but uh, mostly I'm active with the order in my coalition car from Sar. so uh, so yeah that's where I'm mostly at in Omicrons but if, if the core is logging alone that's another of course th then I'm logging with them that's something else I'm trading with the core that's a another thing uh, the APM uh, but that's pretty much it. I'm not doing more stuff uh, lately because uh, there hasn't been a lot of new stuff to do for the core. So that's just my opinion. So if you ask about the collective, uh, I finally made my AI. Uh, the incognito that I used in Prime two years ago. Uh, I, I was able to integrate it and I made a forum post. Uh, so we're kind of, yeah, well, we are not that active, you know, but uh, we lock when there's something to do. I wish the collective would be a little more active, but I don't blame it because uh, we're still waiting for our IDs that the admins still didn't provide us. Uh, I think they're waiting since three months or something. <laughs> uh, come on, admins. So once we have the ID, we can also attack transports. And you have a lot of transports in Omicron, so even if you don't want to believe it. There are transports, especially those that uh, pass through Kappa, just to get somewhere, uh, like into the Omic Omegas. Uh, those could be actually shot and do done something uh, with the AI, but we can't engage them because our indie AI doesn't allow us to engage transports. This is actually good. Because this is a recon chip. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, CPR, CPW. CPW is a coalition per people's warship. And uh, CPR is a coalition people's recon ship. And uh, this is a recon ship of the commissars. And so this is actually good. I'm kind of exploring stuff, new jump holes and stuff. Our old CPR, Karimov, which we scrapped, was a... SRP vessel. That, that's another sacrifice we did back then to um, literally establish alliance with the order because uh, there was a lot of um, tension between the factions. We need we had to break that. So and we didn't really use that order cruiser a lot. So you know we didn't really need it. But uh, we continued this the spirit of Karimov with these uh, other ships that we're using for recon, etc. Other than that, Blood, Blood Dragons have a new leadership. Uh, I like them being active uh, as the old one died, kind of. The old leader left, aka Nerva. And uh, w I think they had a different tag. They were in these and now uh, they agreed to take over the existing PD faction. Also right now, <laughs> the Order and Coalition have like so many factions. You, you, I, I literally stopped counting. Like we have on Coalition, we have SCRA, we have TSB, uh, we have SC SCEC, Ex Expeditionary Group, and we have SCC, Commissariat, then we have VI. Volgard Industrial, and the order has like the uh, EOG, Eth Ethereal Order Guard or something, I forgot. Uh, this one, the Legacy of Aurelian, and the official primary order fleet. And I think there was one more, but I don't remember the third one. That's re really insane. But I like it, I like it. Like It, it shows uh, how the faction can be, you know, evolved improved etc i think instead of just sticking to you know i know i know people a lot of people say oh well you know it would be a lot better if we had still the one faction per one official faction per npc faction rule etc uh as of now with the player base i could agree however with the mentality and stuff that have changed over the years, I have to disagree because people want to do what they like most, so let them do what they like most. And don't punish indies for, you know, being assholes. There has been a small update on the roads, I think. I 
didn't say much, but I mean, we had a couple raids were more like there was one POV siege we had in Kepler or Galileo, I don't remember. And uh, the rogues have done some or, or doing some role play with the Red Hessians. And uh, if, if there is, if there will be some connections, like, you know, trading stuff, there might be a chance. Uh, that we could have cell points on their bases, etc. You know, and they could have cell points on our base, which the coalition definitely will get involved. So we'd have this cool uh, unlawful trading system. That's what I tried with Volgograd Industrial. I even did a spreadsheet uh, on Google Docs. Uh, I I think it was Google Docs. I don't remember. Uh, Rep sheet, no, Google rep sheet. And uh, I did this whole unlawful trading system, like where, where you can get ore, or where you can sell stuff. Of course, you have now a uh, miner's guide on the forum. But uh, if, if we can build those RP connections, there might be actually a better unlawful trading route now, because the unlawful trading routes are so awful, god awful. Not saying they are bad, too bad, because you can still earn some money. But uh, I wish. I mean, we are, as an unlawful faction, you're risking a lot more than a fucking civilian. Or uh, whatever. Uh, so we should at least have close the amount of money they're getting. But no, we receive a lot less. The mollies are kind of. The mollies are. I don't want to say dead. I spoke to Bloodspace, and she said it's pretty much alive. But I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them for a long time. Uh, as for Red Hessians, well, Wesker. Oh, well, Wesker ain't doing shit. I think. Nah, he is doing stuff, but uh, he's he became inactive for a good reason. Uh, they, they of, of, although, I mean, they helped us defend Omega-52 just a couple days ago, so I ain't uh, judging. Oh yeah, that's another thing with the Sears, Corsairs raiding our system, etc. Uh, if we can keep this up, um, we could actually have nice uh, Omicron Gamma raids. Like gamma raids and uh, omega 52 raids, and Corsairs could go to alpha. You have different war fronts. Um, also, what I'm trying to do with SCC, uh, since we are in Kusari and Omicron, Omicrons, etc., trying to boost KNF, etc., to log. We had a fight just last week with KNF and Kempetai in Kusari, and I think they're, they're happy that there are stuff to shoot, you know, because. Kuzari has been dead for a long time, so I'm trying to keep that alive with the with the with Blood Dragons and Coalition, and order as you can see, not just transports, but there are also cap ships sometimes that fly around in Kuzari or maybe Snubs, I don't know, but uh, yeah, those could actually um, do some interesting, uh, give some interesting activity, especially if the order would be more present. I think there could be, they could move KNF more into Omicrons, that would be nice. We'd have more stuff to shoot. But they are right now in war with uh, Rhineland military, so it uh, looks a bit, yeah, Kazari is kind of fucked, so is Rhineland. I found that war bullshit anyway, they should have, they should just go peace, if uh, cooperate if you ask me. And uh, as for the last Gallia update, so to say, well, not more really update, but uh, what's going on right now, uh, especially with Bretonian Armored Forces uh, literally bursting into Omega-3 and trying to claim all the bases they have there, uh, literally even the IMG bases and such. Uh, I could say, I, I know some people have done threats where they discuss what would be, would be the outcome, etc. If you ask me, 
Bretonia and Rhineland should go to war and literally they should have a zo ZOI zone of influence in um, in whole Omegas so they can freely roam around and shoot each other uh, while the other factions unlawful factions etc would have activity too they, they would have they would shoot them etc uh, there'd be a huge uh, brawl if you ask me uh, that's also another thing that made the Tau special if you had GRN, Bretonia, Kuzari, all of them fighting each other. Uh, you had this huge brawl that I like. So, uh, they going into war with each other. Um, the um, Rhineland, uh, Rhineland goes into peace with Kuzari. They start to cooperate with each other. Uh, Kuzari moves into Omicrons and Liberty, because I think Shikoku and Captor Galileo and Colorado need more uh, activity. I think those four systems could be a nice contested system in which uh, those two factions would fight each other and uh, let them move into Omicrons. So, you know, the thing is, you've seen I've seen a couple mods from Vanilla and such. There have always there there have always been either Rhineland expeditionary course or Kusari expeditionary course, which which you saw fleets moving into fighting nomads which i think it would make actually sense for bizarre to move into omicrons since you know aoi and all of course they have the core in omicrons but you know i still think they could have a better job they could do a better job uh the knf with against the order and so the core has already a lot of enemies <laughs> so it would be nice to have to have the knf there Maybe even assisting the core um, in fighting those other Omicron factions, aliens, etc. Oh well, what is this? Coronado, home of the Criterions, huh? Well, remove Crater. You know, they should give some of these to the Coalition, if you ask. I asked that long ago, a long time ago. Because they have these red and black uh, colors. And their red engines should look so fitting for the coalition. Oh yeah, we used to do stuff with the CR Council CR coalition. We, we were uh, assisting Council kinda and finding GRN in Taos, something like a free free Taos project. But uh, all of that, all of that, kinda got abandoned after I got banned. I just re I feel that so hard, like a lot of things, uh, stuff like the non-aggression pact with Bretonia that they have done now. Uh, a lot of stuff we we did back in SCRA has been abandoned, um, which I'm okay. Like you know, you can go to your own direction. I don't I don't care, but uh, that's just my bitterness. Of a veteran. <laughs> oh yeah, I also, I also saw Corsairs raiding Alpha like two days ago. Dude, I was like, that, I, I, that can't be right, right? Because it has been like almost a decade since the Corsairs last uh, raided Alpha. And I wish there were more outcast factions. As I see right now, uh, there aren't really a lot. I think there's one, the National Council or something. And I don't see them really fly out of it. So I don't know what happened to the outcasts. Uh, other than MNS, of course. Those those bastards are in Omicrons, all over in Omicron. But those are just capital ship noobs, you know, uh, so it's really not really counting as a faction, if you ask me. Of course, the MNS tag is just a uh, just like CPW, a warship tag. So, also quick advice to some people that rage quit lately, um, uh, especially for those that are like, "Oh man, I got ganked, uh, I got fucked, whatever." Guys, don't 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 let yourselves down because of st stuff like that. I especially, I lately figured, if you see a group, your enemy, 
and um, you're like in one ship and you're like oh well if, if I'm good enough I could maybe take one down but I, I'll probably die risk it just risk it then just go have an interaction I'm like I'm like in Omicron's I'm flying on my SEC ship I see core people logging like three core subs and I, I'm like it doesn't matter dude it doesn't matter if you die just play just play along I don't know, that's what I, I think that's also what Spazzy said about role playing thing uh, agreed to be defeated like you know uh, sometimes you lose of course he was more on the role play concept story concept but uh, I'm saying it could this could also be applied in game like instead of avoiding people avoiding factions avoiding interactions just go even if you die this doesn't matter doesn't matter just let them have at the moment the uh, interaction with each other and uh, I think we as a community will go in a better direction like this um, I know sometimes I, I think the biggest problem which many people have is that if you die uh, people go after you and say like oh you noob oh you you you're so bad oh you died and I don't know what um, I've experienced it a lot less lately than I, when I was uh, back in two years or three years um, so don't pay attention to those if you have that interaction afterwards if you die just go in anyway it doesn't matter so sometimes people go and kudos you they're like oh hey that, that was cool you know uh, Sometimes they, they'll even say, I, I wish we would have just gone 1v1 instead of 3v1, but it doesn't matter. Um, and if you are not skilled enough as a PvPer, just it doesn't matter really. D just go. Just go. And that's how you uh, improve. Dying, trial and error. Trial and error. Just get, just try it. Who knows, maybe you get lucky and get a nice nuke kill. Nuke mines. You, you never know. Uh, last, I think two days ago or something, me and Kel Lumeresh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but we were like, uh, I was like one bomber, he was an, an Osiris, and we had this one nomad Ishtar and Gumbo with, uh, cruises, uh, uh, of course, wild and nomad factions are fucking assholes anyway, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we were like, you know, dude, instead of logging off now, because we were tired, like we, we've flown for a long while and we were like hey, instead of going to sleep or uh, instead of logging off now that's what I'm trying to say uh, instead of logging off now let's just log our shit in Delta and go it doesn't matter if we die just log your thing let's go uh, we, we died etc of course we got ganked and all but uh, we had our fun you know we had our fun hey look we had some interaction we showed that we are alive as a faction each other, you know, the Order, Nomads, the Coalition here, the Core, whatever. We show that we are active, we are doing stuff. Uh, even if we are, we probably died and got fucked really hard. But yeah, that's just my opinion. I just think if we would all do that, uh, it doesn't matter if we die. Um, I think there would be more interactions, I think. Also, you'd probably have other people that see that and be like, oh, hey, look, that guy's alone. Maybe I could Next time I could fly with him and destroy the other team, you know? You never know what could happen out of these interactions. Dude, that gumbo... What the hell? It's moving like a... fire. I really wonder how the, um... Kusari gumbo is actually... Ah, uh, fuck off, crosshair. Get away from the gumbo, what the hell? Finally! Hey, these asteroids kinda remind me of a crossfire system asteroids. Yeah. The hell look really cool re really sweet 
I wonder... Polymero is an icy distant world located in the remote system of Omicron Zero. Most of the planet's surface is covered by a num num enormous dirty gla glaciers and compressed ice bags. Temperature minus 230, minus 200, okay. Wait. Only cursory scans were made. Quickly dismissing any hopes for as easily accessible resources or alien artifact. Holy shit. Wait, actually this planet. Whoa, what's this? Oh. Okay. I forgot that it existed. Okay. Uh yeah, this planet could be actually researched. Either researched or um the AIs, I mean the AIs are kinda um how should I put it? They're um used to ice planets because their planet is an ice planet, planet Gamu. Okay, well I think that's that much for this update right now. Uh I'm probably gonna make a uh, general freelancing videos if I'm switching cars a lot or when I have a lot to talk to. Uh also I've been proposed to do stuff like which Spazzy did with a know your faction leader or something. Uh, leave a comment down below on the video if you, if you guys want me to actually uh, interview some of the current faction leaders, because back then, of course, they were all of it. But um, uh, the current faction leaders of these different things and have a, a small talk. I would collect uh, questions from you guys uh, and ask them about it in a video. Let me know what you want. And as always, thank you so much for watching, uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't already, and uh, I hope to see you guys on the next video, see ya!